What's going on everybody? Triple Crown 24 back today on a Friday. It's actually Monday when you're seeing this, but it's Friday for me. I've got two care packages to show off today that came in over the week. And then I also have one piece of mail I wanted to show off really quickly. The goal today is to hit 1500 unique Miguel Cabrera cards. We will see if that happens. Um, stay tuned. So let me show off what I bought first. This is the 2018 Mother's Day Pink from Top Series 1, numbered to 50. So just continuing to build that flagship rainbow. Love the 2018 Tops design, so as many of those as I can get. Uh, the more the merrier in terms of the number of parallels on that one. And then my first care package actually came in on Wednesday, but I decided to save it for this one because I knew the second care package was coming in. So this is coming from a guy named Mr. Pretty on YouTube. First name Andrew. And he sent me this card that will go into my YouTube PC. He reached out to me over email and asked me if I needed some certain cards for one of the projects I'm working on and I did so he sent it my way he doesn't have videos up yet to my knowledge but he told me that he would let me know when he did so I'll let you guys know as well when he starts making videos because it's always nice to see a new member of the community but he sent me three different cards for my 2011 diamond anniversary set I got Phil Coke I've not been picking up too many of these lately John Lannon and Gio Gonzalez so you, uh, you definitely inspired me to go out and start looking for some more. I'm probably going to actually place a sport lots order today to kind of pick up a few more. But those will go towards that collection. And then this one, he had a few from Topps Update, which I'm not doing the update portion at the moment because of that Mike Trout guy. Um, but I actually don't have this one in my Miggy Super Collection, so I went ahead and snagged this. This is the All-Star Game card. So all the All-Stars get a card. and. This is Miggy's with the diamond parallel to it. So I have the Cognac, but not the uh, Platinum, whatever they call this. So thank you again, Andrew. I really appreciate it, sir. Um, I'm going to have to sort these out and put them into my binder that I'm using for the uh, Diamond Anniversary set. But I also got a second care package <clears throat> from Oakland Days 915. So at the moment, because I actually found a card yesterday while rummaging that I didn't have counted in my Miggy collection. Happens a little bit more often than you might think. Um, I'm actually at $14.98 now in terms of my overall count. So I put a lot of pressure on Eric this week because he told me he was sending this my way, but Oakland A's 915 sent me this stack and I told him that I bet you your care package is the one that gets me over 1500 So I need two new Miguel Cabrera cards in here. I haven't opened up any of these yet, and I want to turn the camera around because he always turns it around um, whenever he's done care package videos for me. So let's see if there are two in here. There's five little uh, team bags in here. I took them out of the packaging without looking at them just so I could be surprised. So. All right, first up, looks like he sent me some cards for my little side Chris Sabo PC. It's one I don't talk about too much. I think I'll do a video on it at some point in time. Some of my side PCs, but these are awesome. These will go in the Sabo binder. There's a couple of uh, new ones in here from what it looks like. Like, for example, I don't have the all-star version of the Donruss there. And I know that there's a lot of junk wax variations as well. I'm not sure if Sabo is one of those players that has those types of variations. I know that um, Trading Card Database acknowledges a few of them, but I'm not 100% sure if I have any of them, which because <laughs> I can't really identify them as well as some of the guys out there. Like I'm probably gonna have to have a little conference with Nate Tops 85 401, and uh, maybe I'll send all my cards to him and have him pick out the junk wax variations just joking on that one but a lot of good sabos in here to add into the binder so i then i guess this whole package is sabo which is pretty sweet um this next one coming up is one of my favorite cards it's 89 i believe diamond kings and this one is also Pretty sweet, the MVP from 91 Don Ross. So thank you for those, Eric. Thank you for everything um, that you sent me. But 
Okay, I just saw a Cabrera I don't have on the top of the next stack, so I know that we have at least one new one here. This one has top loaded stuff, so first up, this is some stuff that he got. Uh, IP, because he goes to a lot of games for the Chihuahuas, who are the AAA team of the Padres. I kind of blanked for a moment there. So you can see him show off a lot of these autographs on his channel. If you go check him out, Oakland A's 915, one of my favorite YouTubers out there. We've got Logan Allen here. This is John Cena's buddy. He's, I believe, now with Cleveland. He got traded at the deadline. Now this one's pretty sweet. 2018 Tops update, Francisco Mejia. So two really solid prospects right there. And what year is this? This is the first new one. This is the 2008 Upper Deck X Exponential, Miguel Cabrera. So that is $14.99. I do not have that one, or at least I believe so. And then here it is, number 1500, the Star Quest from 2009 Upper Deck Series 1. This is the Gold Rare. I know I don't have this one, and I pretty sure I don't have this one but the card that's sitting right here I know I don't have as well so that's gonna be 1500 we at least got there I'll probably put what my final count is um, let's see this is the star quest rare from 2008 upper deck I love the blue on that card this one <laughs> uh, we might have actually have, like tried to bid each other on this one this is the we the people Donruss optic which is pretty sweet. Number to 76, kind of like the Panini equivalent of the Independence Day once that Topps puts out. And then we've got the Bowman Platinum from 2017 as well. So we're already there, I know. I mean, I gotta get these sorted out a little bit more um, just so I don't put in the autographs with the other stuff. Oh boy, I just saw something else that <laughs> I got put in here. So definitely raised the, the stakes on that one. Here is a couple of optics. He got me the lime green, which is a retail exclusive, and that's a new one for sure, along with the base version, which I told you guys about in one of my recent videos. Here's the 2019 Bowman. Got a 2010 Tops Attacks. Got the 2018 Big League. Love this card a lot. I just like his smile in that picture. Uh, then we've got quite a few star quests. So this one is the uncommon, and I really don't remember which of these I have and which one of them I don't. So um, we've got the common, regular one, and the green common as well, or emerald, whatever upper deck called it back then. So I'll have to go through and double check to see which of those I have and which ones I don't. Here is a 2007 Bowman Heritage. So. Pretty sweet card, I always like that card. This one is a 2005 Fleer Patchworks. I'm not sure if I have this one or not. I'm gonna have to double check on that one. Here's the Hit Brigade, or excuse me, Hit Brigade um, from 2008 Upper Deck. He was in Series 2 a lot that year. He's got a lot of Upper Deck cards. Here's the Topps Heritage, based on the 1960 Topps design. Then we've got 2009 Upper Deck, a set that I'm a huge fan of, as well as the Piece of History one. Love this set as well. Uh, we've got the Dick Perez insert. I believe these were Walmart exclusives in 2008, which is really sweet. And then we've got three of these. Uh, I'm not sure which of these I have and which ones I don't because this is a set that kind of like runs all together for me But he sent me these UD documentary cards So I'm gonna double check to see on these as well. I'm surprised that uh, he let this one uh, Make it out of the light of day because it shows the Tigers actually Defeating the Oakland A's there. It's not gonna focus. I don't think But uh, the Tigers beat the A's in that game. I won't mention that anymore because uh, he Just, just saw something. Uh, <laughs> we'll get to it in a moment. Um, oh my god. 
So here's the card I saw a little bit earlier. This was the 2008 Sweet Spot. So he's in the Marlins uniform, but he's got it's got the Tigers logo. So this was an earlier release in the year. This is um, Sweet Spot or Sweet Swatch memorabilia. So this is kind of like the standard relic they put in uh, Sweet Spot, which is a product I used to really love. Um, that one, I, that one I don't have. I don't think I have. Oh geez. This one, <laughs> I love this product as well. This is uh, Authentics 2005 Jersey Authentics. This is also new. I really don't have all that many relics considering how many he has. I've, I've looked through his entire checklist before, which is a lot. And there are a lot of relics. <laughs> let me just let me just say there are a lot of relics and patch cards. This card is is awesome. I love these. This is a 2011 All-Star game, which is really sweet. And this one, I'm very thankful that you got this for me because I actually got screwed on eBay out of this card. The seller never sent it and never communicated. It's the 2002 Bowman Prospect Gold Parallel. And I bought this card off of eBay a couple months ago and never received it. So thank you, Eric. That's awesome. But there's one more card here that when I saw it, I, I froze. Or I froze. The card itself did not freeze. Oh, this is sweet. I've been trying to get one of these for so long, and I just always forget to bid on one. This is the Pack Wars Autograph from this product. I think it was a one and one, one and done for tops. But it is my 38th Miguel Cabrera autograph. And I love this card. It's an on card autograph, I believe. Yep. Just got that old school tops feel to it too. That's kind of nostalgic for me since it's the time around where I grew up. It's not old school in terms of like old old school or vintage I'm just saying like early to mid 2000s old school put it that way I'm probably gonna reveal uh I'm gonna make some people feel old with that comment so I apologize for that man this is just too much dude well that uh that was a lot <laughs> that was I don't know what I was expecting but uh that was a lot more than whatever it was so thank you Eric like these I mean Look at this, he sent me prospect cards, jersey cards. He sent me a ton of parallels too. I'm gonna have to go through all these and see which ones I can put away here because I can't remember off the top of my head on some of these, like the Star Quest or anything because the colors have just all ran together for me. So go check out both YouTubers I mentioned today. I mean, nobody ever has to do this, but I've I'm just very thankful that the community has helped me as much as they have. And really, since I started that 2K by 2020 series, there's been a lot of people who have shown a lot of support um, in trying to get me to that goal, which is really awesome. And people have shown me support in general anyways, but uh, I've I, it's just gone up tenfold since then. So thank you guys so much. I'll leave you guys with the image of these two autographs. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, have yourselves a good one.